Hey guys, Eli here. And the title says, the bad thing about gold and silver. But what I really meant to say is, the bad thing about the gold and silver community. Now, make sure you watch this video to the end because there's some stuff on here that really needs to be shared. I may get some credits down there in the comment section, but I'm not one to shy away from the truth. Now, this video is not meant to single out any one in particular person in the community itself, but I'm really going after the mindset and the system that the community gives off. I'm sorry for the long intro, but let's start now. Guys, if this is your first time on this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos, and make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and comment something down in the comments below. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys want to help support the channel even more, make sure you guys check down the pinned comment down in the comment section. Now, what is that mindset I'm talking about that I believe that the community breeds? And really, that mindset is fear. Well, no, Eli, that's not true. We don't promote fear at all. Oh, really? Well, let's go over the list. The financial debt crisis, financial system collapse, the dollars going to zero, inflation, hyperinflation, stagflation, EMP, stock market crash, real estate market crash, crypto market crash. I ran out of fingers. Well, hold up there, Eli. Now I'm a little bit scared. Now I got to go buy some silver. But most of the stuff are true. You hear that? Somewhere out there, somebody just hit the thumbs down button. Now, although all those things listed above can happen, and some of those things will happen. But should we let all those things stop us from taking risk? I mean, throughout all of America's history, there was a lot of risk taken. Even though there was a lot of cases where a lot of stuff could have gone wrong, and some cases where it did go wrong, we're still a better nation because of the risk that was taken. Now, this is not me bashing precious metals because if you guys watch this channel, you guys know I'm a very avid gold and silver buyer. I've been doing this, I built this whole channel on buying gold and silver. But if I say, you know what, I want to go into the stock market, people will flood in and say, no, 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 the stock market is at its all time high, you're guaranteed to lose money, stay away from the stock market. Well, okay then, I'll go into the real estate market. Real estate market is at its all time high, then stay away from the real estate market, trust me. Alright then, I'll go into crypto. <laughs> F idiots. Now, although there are some great valid points there, but there are also some great opportunities to be taken in the stock market, real estate, and maybe even crypto market as well. And if you know what you're looking for, there's a lot of money to be made in all these different markets, even gold and silver. But we get so immersed in the negativity that's surrounded in the financial system, we sometimes get paralyzed when it comes to growing our wealth. Now, there are four things that we can do with our money. You can spend it, and that's what everybody does. You can save it, and that's what everybody does too. Well, that's what they're supposed to do. You can preserve it, not that much people's into that, and you can grow it. And not trust me, not that much people's into that as well. <laughs> now, I'm not the one to tell you what to do with your money, but there's actually a Bible parable that actually explains to us what we should do. Now, I'm gonna paraphrase a little bit, but it goes a little something like this. Three servants receives talents while the master goes away. One squanders it and wastes it. The other one buries it to preserve it. And the other one grows it and doubles the amount of talent that was given to him. And the one that spent it and buried it on the ground were punished. Oh, I thought that was a middle finger right there. And the very last one was rewarded. Now, why do I say that precious metals are associated with fear? Because that's the biggest selling point when it comes to buying gold and silver. Hey, man, you want to buy some gold and silver? Nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you. Well, you do know monetary system is going to crash and eat up the dollar and everything is going to go down and gold and silver is going to be real money. Well, since you put it that way, I mean, yeah, how much you want for it? Well, I got an ounce of silver right here is actually worth $500, but I can cut you a deal and give it to you for 100 Oh my gosh, I'm getting it for a steal. Sold. Now, I want to clarify this again. I am not bashing gold and silver. I'm bashing the fact that we're not going out there to try to grow our wealth because we're stunned by the thought of, hey, if I put my money here, there's a chance of me losing it. Now, I want you to understand, for thousands of years, gold and silver was money. 
There was no competition. There was no stock market. There was no fiat currency. There was nothing that actually competed with the precious metal. But nowadays, there's so much competition. There's the bond market, real estate market, crypto market now. And I do personally believe that nothing is stronger than gold and silver. Gold and silver is like the Superman of the financial system. You wanna pin everything against gold and silver. The same way we pin everything on Superman. Who's stronger, Superman versus the Hulk? Who's stronger, Superman versus this hero, this hero, this hero? That's how we do it with gold and silver. What's better, crypto versus gold? What's better, money versus gold? Now, with that being said, I do believe that the monetary system that we do have in place in the current day will not last. And yes, the stock market at one point will crash. Even the crypto market at some point will crash. But I think when we hear the word crash, that means destroyed. No, see, back in early 2020, the stock market and everything else, including gold and silver, crashed. But it all came back and regained its gains in late 2020. Now that we got all that out the way, I do want to say I believe it's important to actually grow your wealth and preserve your wealth at the same time. You don't want to just grow your wealth and the next time you know you look at it is just gone, magically dis disappear like that. But you want to be able to preserve your wealth as well. So me personally, I will always buy silver and gold because I do believe it's a great way to preserve your wealth. But at the same time, you wanna be able to grow the wealth that you have. There's tons of creators out here that buys gold and silver and still dabble in the stock market. If it's not the stock market, they still dabble in the real estate market. If it's not the real estate market, they make money off gold and silver itself. So my challenge to you guys is, not only do you wanna preserve your wealth, yeah, that's down, like, I believe most of us got that down packed. My challenge is, alongside with preserving and protecting your wealth, how about growing your wealth? Now, whatever avenue you may wanna take to grow your wealth, whether it be stock market, crypto, real estate, whatever it may be, you need to do your research. I mean, you need to know the ins and outs. Like I've always said, yes, I also noticed that the stock market is at its all time high when the economy is down. But at the same time, I do believe there was a lot of company that were at their multi-year lows and I took advantage of that. And if you guys seen my Monday's video where I go over my investments, you guys can see the payoff from the hours upon hours and hours of research that I actually put into companies to find great companies to invest in that actually grew my wealth. Now, earlier on in the video, I told you guys that fear is the number one selling point. Now, a lot of these big people, they're gonna tell you, yes, the monetary system is gonna switch and all this and all that and all this and the, the fiat currency is gonna collapse. But then it's gonna be backed with, hey, go to this website and buy my gold and silver. Fear is the number one selling point. But granted, if you're buying silver from them, at least you have something tangible you're receiving for your money. But at the same time, don't let it switch your brain off from figuring out ways to actually grow your money. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys comment down below. And if you guys leave a thumbs down, if you guys didn't get that from this video. But if you did, comment something nice down below and leave a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you guys consider becoming a member. Got tons of exclusive videos that comes out daily. Make sure you guys check down in the description below. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.